Comar. Comar. No report received. Great. Victoria. Victoria. No report received. hear him a little bit. Nick here. Uh, it's 12.29 uh, p.m. Central Time in Dallas. Probably the worst time at all for shortwave listing. So I decided to do a band scan. <laughs> anyway, fired up a 10 Tech 340 on the Wellbrook antenna. And we just pulled in a bunch of... Uh, I keep forgetting if they're ganders or vomits or Trenton militaries or and, and and whether or not those are all the same or not. I don't I I can't keep all that straight. But there's several frequencies. I always write them down. 15034, 13270, 11279, 10051, 6604. And I think 6754, you can pause it and write those down if you don't track those frequencies. And they um, they uh, broadcast for 10 minutes, starting at 20 past every hour. So they go from like 1220 to 1230, and then also from like 1250 to 1 o'clock. So starting at 20 minutes past the hour and 50 minutes past the hour. They will broadcast for 10 minutes on upper sideband. And obviously, depending on the time of day, because they all broadcast the same thing. So depending on the time of day is determines which one you will hear best, if any. So anyway, we just did a couple of those. Let's try, I don't know, let's try up high since it's new, only noonish and uh, uh, see what's going on. Open the bandwidth back up. So we'll do a band scan. And I'm going to shut up and stop talking. And then from now on, it's just going to be me pushing buttons and turning knobs. All right. Enjoy. I have to say something, sorry. The sync is fighting to get this super weak signal. See the little dots between the letters? When they're lit, it's sync is locked. When they go out, it's lost lock. And you can hear it in the, the, the what do you call it, the report, the volume.
Ну все, все We're going to have to stick around and check Canada, just in case, in case their shit's not wired tight. All right, Canada passes the test. That's a joke for all you Canadians, okay? Oh man, my 
Tentec took a shit. There it goes. Oh, oh nice. Okay, well, good for you. Uh, they were busy days. Must be a loose connection inside of there or something. I got to give it a little love tap every once in a while. I should probably just take the case off and start playing with the wires and see if there's any loose ones. I like to hit the preamp to see if that helps the sync lock on a weak signal. Apparently it does. Apparently it doesn't make a difference. There's the attenuator. <laughs>
My favorite beacon got yanked off the air. Depends on the time of the day. Sometimes I get this amazing, this signal. Sometimes I don't get it at all. Sometimes I half-ass get it. It's all because of noise. All right, if you all remember, this was my favorite super weak beacon. Guess what? They yanked it off the air. Anyway, all right, that's it for a band scan. I know I promised I wouldn't talk, but sometimes I just can't shut up. So anyway, I hope, hope you all enjoyed that. And with a little help from my knuckle wrapping, the Tentec 340 made it through. Uh, like I said, maybe one day I'll go in there and move, shake some wires and see if <coughs> I find a loose one. Hopefully that's all it is, because I don't want to have to add this to the radio graveyard. All right, already too many super nice radios in my radio graveyard. So, uh, that's it. All right, thanks for hanging out.